March 10th, uh, 2014. Uh, so we're hoping to have it done by mid to late summer. Okay, so the first project we're going to start with is the mast. The plans actually call for a used or uh, second-hand windsurfer, either fiberglass or carbon fiber mast. However, in this area, that's hard to find. So we're going to make our own mast. We're going to use uh, clear pine. We're going to make it a hollow mast with eight staves with a bird's mouth cut in one side of each. First 36 to 40 inches is going to be an outside three inches in diameter and then it's going to taper up to two inches in diameter at the tip. We're ready to proceed with the first step of the mast. We need for a 15 and a half foot mast, obviously we need 15 and a half foot staves to make our mast. Uh, the lumber we have is only eight foot. So we're going to do what's called scarfing the ends and putting them together. That's cutting them on a six to one ratio. And so we have a nice long space to glue. Instead of just butt gluing them, this will make a much stronger joint. We made a jig that I set at the right angle to give us a 6 to 1 ratio. And we are going to take our router with the temporary base we made, bring it down so it's just cutting just a little bit and we will just run it back and forth until we get the angle, lower it a little bit more, continue running it back and forth step by step until we get it down to 3 quarters of an inch. I made two passes with the scarfing, or the router with the scarfing jig already. You can see how it's taking it down at an angle. So I'm going to lower it a little bit more. I have this set so when my router bit is down to three quarters, which is the thickness of this piece, these will then go from nothing up to full thickness. We're just going to lower the router a little bit at a time, tighten her back up, put on our ear protection. Okay, so we've got our first pair done. Uh, the, the ends are not quite perfect and square, but it shouldn't matter. As we get the boards straight, then we'll be able to cut two pieces, two 15 plus foot staves out of each pair that are put together. So now we're gonna take and glue up our staves. We're gonna spread a good supply of glue on each of our mating halves, line them up, and I'm going to use a level clamp to the sides to make sure that they're in alignment and the railroad section has a weight to hold it down so it's nice and tight. And this should hold it well till it's dry. 